right. I have prepared a short dossier on myself. Where I grew up, went to prep school. When I came out, you came out? <laughs> so what are you always sniffing around Miss Sheffield for? My coming out party, Miss Fine. I know, I heard you. You know, now you and your special friend can dance together at Disneyland. <laughs> Lovely. Ooh, who are these people in the picture? That's my brother and that's my sister. Oh, wow, isn't he gorgeous? Yes, he is, isn't he? Come on, who is he? <laughs> oh, just someone, it's not important. Oh, tell me, tell me. He came with the frame, okay? <laughs> oh, honey, there's nothing to be ashamed of. A lot of grown women do that. <laughs> All right, now, what do I do if Haste wants something to drink? Oh, I've got gin, vodka, bourbon. You don't have anything a little softer? Rum. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that I carry a can of Clamato with me. <laughs> Plus, if ever you hit a skunk. Many fine. <laughs> Meanwhile, Miss Martha Stewart, with half a million dollars coming, would it have hurt to squeeze a little cheese on a Ritz? Please concentrate. Man. Who is it? What do you think it is, Epic Man? Get in my closet. <laughs> Charlie, hi. Hey, come on in. Take a load off. That check must be heavy. <laughs> so this is your apartment? Uh-huh. Doesn't look like you at all. Uh, go hire a straight decorator. <laughs> For you, Cece. Oh, how lovely. Thank you so much. Did you bring the half a mil? Cece, I've been thinking. I don't want to invest that much. You don't? No, I want to double it. Oh. <laughs> Poltergeist. <laughs> I got the apartment really cheap, but I can't watch TV. <laughs> Gonna put those flowers in a vase? Oh, yeah, sure, of course. If only I could figure out where I put my vases. Perhaps in the kitchen. Right, the kitchen, of course. That's a linen closet. The maid was here today. She never puts anything back where it belongs. <laughs> now, if I were the maid, where would I put the kitchen? Oh, bingo. Aren't you gonna get that? Nah, it's just my idiot neighbor. You live in 6B! <laughs> Well, what are you doing here? Cece, I've come to my senses. This is not how I do business. Are you crazy? He is throwing money at her and she didn't even have to put out. Hors d'oeuvres, <laughs> the cat, anything, really. <clears throat> I don't care how important this play is to me. Nothing is worth this. He's up to a million. They're coming, get in the closet. <laughs> I wouldn't eat that shrimp if I were you. God knows how long it's been in there. Oh, Cece, I'm an expert on garbage. This baby's got two, three hours before it turns. <laughs> Want a bite? Uh, no, as appealing as hepatitis sounds, <laughs> yellow is just not my color. <laughs> well, let's talk about us. You see, I, I think uh, you and I see eye to eye. Uh, those aren't my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you know that little, bald, middle-aged men have very high levels of testosterone? Mm -hmm. An ironic twist of fate. <laughs> you see, I say, let's dump Sheffield and make this a duet. You said on the phone that you're the brains and he's just a pretty face in a blazer. I said that? How dare me? <laughs> I said you were pretty great and a trailblazer. Damn cellular phones. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Maxwell Sheffield is a man of vision. Sure, he passed on cats, not one of his finest hours, but when everybody was going crazy wondering where to put the fiddler, he's the one that said, stick him on the roof. <laughs> what does Sheffield really have that I don't have? Well, for starters, he doesn't have a shrimp vein hanging out of his tooth. 